What's up everyone? 3D Print 747 here. I've got this bin of parts. Probably about 55 pieces to be exact. Um, I did on my Bamboo Lab P1P and P1S over the last week and a half to two weeks. What this is eventually going to be is a Grinch. And you can see that this slice is from Luban software. Uh, I put that um, link and uh, mentioned it in a previous post. So what I'm doing is just gluing all these pieces together the way Luban um, allows you to do this is to uh, break it out into parts and then eventually glue it all back together once everything is printed. So that's where I'm at now, printing all of these parts or putting them back together rather. I've got two more parts on the printer and then I'm done uh, printing. Um, but yeah, uh, you can see the Grinch's face right there. Uh, his hand, another hand. Here's a part of his uh, chin. So you can see this is part number 38. If you look right here on the paper, there's part 38. So that's how you can tell how to put everything back together. Because Luban will create a file that you open and then give you all of these numbers on every part uh, so you know how they go back together. So as you can see, I've pretty much numbered every single part that you're seeing here. Uh, every one of these in the bin. Um, I've got two of the feet right there being glued together. I'm using 3D Gloop and also um, <clears throat> this 705 gel. I don't like the gel as much as I like the uh, thinner stuff. And then I'm using this activator, AK Fix 705 activator. Um, what I'll do is I'll put the glue on one side of the part and then spray on the other side. And when I put them together, uh, the activator makes the glue uh, work or activate uh, within a second or two and holds it um, as if it's been sitting all night. So it's pretty awesome stuff. Um, yeah, so I'll uh, keep doing this and I will show you what it's like when it's all finished. Um, maybe I'll do a progress video when I'm quarter or half the way through. I may have showed you before, but the reason I'm doing the Grinch is because I printed this Cindy Lou Who and figure I need the Grinch to go along with it. Um, I've got an almost finished Max over here sitting there. Um, this was done last year and I didn't know anything about closing the gaps or Bondo or anything like that. So I just, you can see how it is, but it's up towards the front of the yard. So people walking the street or driving by can't really tell that it's not one piece. Uh, but yeah, so this is my uh, Christmas uh, to-do list. So I'll be back shortly. So like I said, I've been printing these Grinch parts for probably two weeks now, week and a half maybe, um, having to wait to get PLA delivered the next day on, on a couple of days, but not too many times. Um, but yeah, uh, the Bamboo Labs, man, I mean, they just print super amazing. I'm really, really happy with these. I'm probably going to get one of those um, A1 Minis. I think that's what they're called um, after Christmas to see how that prints. But that looks like it prints really, really well, too. Um, I've probably gone through 10 to 12, maybe 10, and yeah, probably 12 rolls of PLA. So yeah, I've got, uh, like I said, these two pieces left. And then 
continue gluing. So I'll be back to show you what it looks like in another video soon. And it begins. And sorry, I had to go straight up and down instead of holding the phone sideways, but this wouldn't fit sideways. So it is what it is. Anyway, like I mentioned in the last video, don't forget to number your pieces so that you know exactly where they fit based on how Luban slices the pieces up. Um, having this piece of paper here helped me identify that I actually forgot to print uh, the piece number 44, which is the right side of the Grinch's face. So that's why he's a stopped work in progress until the print's done in three hours, I think. Um, yeah, so looking forward to getting this thing done and off the workbench. Of course, I'll have nowhere to put it once it's six feet tall, but we'll figure that out when the time comes. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. 3D Print 747, I'm out of here.